Hey fish heads, Jen Kravasi, Jekyll Bates, and I'm back with another quick tip and trick for you guys today. So on the desk, I've got one of these, uh, it's from Schultz, but I know they sell them on Amazon too. It's one of those pre-foiled lipless baits. And get this down here so that we're pretty much just looking at the bait. It's beautiful, it swims great, tracks well, awesome wobble, love the bait all around. The thing of it is, when you get them, these are pretty contrasty. So in order to make flawless seams, you normally need to put some sort of opaque white on the top and on the bottom of them, just so that you have a better blend when you're doing your colors. You can mask these things. You, there's a lot of different things that you can do to put patterns on them. But to start out, you need to put that opaque white down. Unfortunately, when you do that, sometimes you get overspray, and this is just a really easy tip and trick. Most of you guys will already know what I'm talking about as soon as I pull this out. So once your paint is dry, let it dry for a couple of days. I, I usually do a bunch of these at once and then set them off to the side. You can just take this, take a dry cloth, and in no time at all, look at that shine come back and it'll pull the dry opaque paint you can see it's starting to work it just takes a couple of seconds to get the job done and you are back to your original splendor no fuss no muss super easy and now there you have it beautiful bait ready to go so here is that end result you have that clean white on the top and on the bottom, and you still have plenty of room for that foil to shine through. That is your Jekyll Bates quick tip of the day, but we're not done yet because I got this massive box, <laughs> this massive box from Tim Consani over at Crossroads Tackle. And I always try and give everybody a shout out. I do my very best. And this particular time, and again, I wasn't expecting it, but this is big. This is really big. So I'm going to open it on camera and see what he sent me. Good grief. Wow. Okay, hang on a second. I'm going to need to clear some room off here. Oh, I got a letter. And what else we got here? It says large pack. This is a large pack of what well we're gonna find out together let's see Tim you shouldn't have good grief this is like the bag that just keeps on giving kind of like Christmas let's see how we gotta do this Did I just set it down like this no Isn't it opening? Okay. Now we can. Now it should start to flow. <laughs> this is crazy. Wow. Wow. Okay, cool. Let's see what we got, kids. A couple more of these. These are flat flukes. These would be good in salt water. A couple more of those. These are like the um, Lucky Craft airs, those airs that come out. Very similar. Have these on the bands. Now the bands are okay. I prefer, whenever possible, to get this type of deal that's got the actual metal pins. Oh, not because they don't swim well. Why, don't don't get me wrong, folks. These will swim really well, but eventually this this band in here is gonna kinda break down on you guys. So, but we have got some really cool stuff to paint. Wow, Tim, you should not have. Thank you so much. Oh, we got some Vision 110 holographics. We got some, oh, some little dudes. We like the little dudes. It looks like some stuff from Racer Top. All kinds of stuff. Wow, there's like 30, 40 baits here. 
Tim. Thank you so much. Ooh, eel type stuff. Now one good thing about the bands is that it really frees up movement on these. It gives it a much freer moving appearance, at least out of the water. But again, I would love to test these in the water and let y'all know how they do. But there's just some really cool stuff here. And um, thank you, thank you very much. Tim from Crossroads, what did he write? We have a letter. Hey, Jen. Tim with Crossroads, Custom Tackle. What an absolute crazy year. Yes, indeed, sir, it sure has been. Even with all the craziness around and all the uncertainties that surround almost everyone, I'm absolutely baffled at seeing how people band together to support our small businesses. I just wanted to send a little thank you care package for all you do. Most people don't go to the extremes in detail of showing people how to paint and improve, and it's understandable as to why they do that. I'll admit, there are things I'll never share, and there's things I'm always willing to. I sure hope you found time to get out and enjoy and enjoy this absolutely crazy world we live in. I've been wanting to do all sorts of fishing this year, but the virus said nope, and people said give me blanks, give me lures, <laughs> not complaining. The talent you have, dear, is absolutely amazing, and I strive to improve. Quite frankly, people are forcing me to, lol. And I can honestly thank you and a plethora of other people who have gotten me to the point I am today. I hope these lures can bring you in some cash. Uh, your videos are absolutely priceless to me, as they have not only helped me, but allowed me to help others by pointing them your way. So please consider this care package as a thank you for all the hard work you do with putting together all that fabulous content. As always, look up and tight lines. These times aren't just a happening, so it's a, t <laughs> so it's a sign of much brighter tomorrow, I think, uh, that I think a lot of people are looking forward to. God bless, stay safe, and keep up the amazing work. Tim Consani, Crossroads Custom Tackle. Tim, thank you, thank you. That concludes today's tips and tricks and unboxing. Wow, 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 wow. Thanks. I really appreciate it. It goes a long way. It, uh, it goes a great deal to say that you can always judge a person by their character and not the content of their words. So you guys keep doing what you're doing. Keep on slinging paint. Keep on fishing. And as always, I appreciate the view. Thank you so much. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.